Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. Today we are playing Rome Total War, carrying on with the Juvia campaign, of course, where we left things off, initialising and finally deciding to go and conquer Britain. That is, of course, we attacked what I believe to be Germany's old capital before Britain swept in and destroyed them once and for all. Six turns until surrender. We're just waiting on some siege it's engines terrible. to take that. We've also got a landing party over here ready to go and destroy Britain right at the heart. But let us know, guys, if you are enjoying the series or if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. It means the world. Drop a like as well just to let us know that you are enjoying it. Now, in today's episode, in today's episode, we're going to retrain this army. There's going to be no, we're not waiting around for anything. We're not waiting around for anything. We are going to push on and attack Britain from three sides. In the middle, right at the heart, and from this flank over here. Now, this does create an immediate border with our other allies, Armenia. And they may have got word of our betrayal against our former allies, Britain. But, nevertheless, we need to push on and crack on now. This army has been mostly retrained. No, it has not. The foundry was clearly needing to be repaired. But we do need a lot of... We need a lot of infantry, I think. And a bit more cavalry. We've not actually got any cavalry as well. Now, can we recruit some decent cavalry? No. No, we cannot. We need the Hippodrome. Can we get the Hippodrome in this place? We... No. Five turns. I don't really want to wait five turns. Don't really want to wait five turns. Have we got any... No, Hippodrome down here. Have we got any spare cavalry? I think we have got cavalry in this place, haven't we? How fast can we get you guys up north? We need both of them. Why have we not got both of them? There we go. Got a lot of army over here as well that we could probably take as well. But, do you know what? We're going to take them. We're going to draw all of our decent army away from there. Byzantium, you don't need them anymore, do you? Alizora, I think you've just got peasants, haven't you? Yep. You guys. You guys. That is more than enough. Absolutely more than enough. Praetorian Cavalry. We'll get four of them. We train all of you. Why not? You can go back in there. I just wanted to see if we had the potential for another elite legion. We've got one over here destroying Britain right here as well. Again, just waiting on the siege for them. How far is our general over here? He's on his way. He's on his way. Going towards Pergamum and dropping him off. And he can control Asia Minor Peninsula for the time being whilst we go and destroy Britain. Now again, we have... Egyptians over. The Egyptians seem to be retreating from Ansira. Why are they doing that? Where are you running off to? Oh, allies. They're going to join in on the fray, aren't they? They are. Clear victory. Have they sunk? They haven't. Have they got any army on them? They've not. Okay. Now, what have we got over here? Ah, here's the faction leader. So there's the faction leader. This will now be the faction heir, won't it? Is that an assassin? No, it's a spy. We need to kill this guy. To kill this guy, and we'll go and kill this guy and see what happens. Because that's just one guy by himself. How many units? It's probably about 100, isn't it? Hmm. Maybe we could blockade their port. Blockade their port. Stop them trading. Because as far as I'm aware, they're not really trading with anyone. They're at war with Armenia. No, they're not. They're not. They'll be trading with Armenia. Hmm, okay. Maybe we could attempt the Armenians to go to war with Thrace. Let's go and have a little nosy over there and see what they want in return for them going to war and finishing Thrace off. For us. Now, there's not much else we can do until we've retrained all of our troops and stuff. So let's see what the response from Britain will be. Let's see. I've just heard splitting the troops. That usually means an assassination attempt. He's alive. Oh, okay. And I'm pretty sure it was this from this peasants, but that's fine. My heart dropped for a second then. Wow. Okay. Okay. Cohorts. Come with me. You are needed elsewhere. Archers. You are also needed elsewhere. There's a lot of archers in there as well. Um, We don't need the catapults. The catapults are a bit over the top for going against Britain's cities. Because there's no walls that we need to. It's just rams really. We could take one catapult I guess. But it'll just take longer to go and kill them. No we're not going to. Oh hello. Now there is. Oh. Do we take this battle? I reckon if we take them from behind here, they will retreat because that will bring that guy in. Barely certain it will anyway. Can we put the dogs in there as well just for the time being? Are you going to take this battle? You are going to take this battle. 
Interesting. So this is going to be the faction... Just a family member. This is the faction heir, isn't it? Yeah. What are we dealing with there? Absolutely nothing. 24. Like, he looks older than 24. He's not got the good genes, has he? And good, good... Yeah, okay. This should be easy. What are the other units, actually? Eichmann, Archers. A very old and grisly spy. But Onagers as well that I look a little bit depleted. Archers. Another set of Onagers. Some heavy cavalry. Okay. I think we should be able to take this. There isn't any general, though, unfortunately. But I did not think they were going to take this battle. But nevertheless, let's get into it. The day has dawned, grim and terrible. But how much more terrible to be facing Romans such as us? Where is the bridge? Where is the bridge? Why have we just been dropped in the middle of absolutely nowhere? Where's the river? Oh, this isn't good. This is not good. I thought there were going to be... Oh, I thought we were going to be on the river. Hmm. Right, well, we've got a very large hill here that we can probably take advantage of if we push up close enough. So let's make a bit of a defensive line up here. No, 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 no. Why on earth are you doing this? You know what? Go for that. We've gone for a very slight man. chevron shape. I may not have a brain, gentlemen, but I have an idea. Because I feel as though it may support us a bit more around the flanks. All of you are on fire at will. Perfect. All of you are on fire at will now. You guys are not moving close enough. Can you attack them? You can. Perfect. Go for it. The one onager may cause us a bit of issue. They're moving forward. They're moving forward. Perfect. This is exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to reserve the dogs for the supporting troops that are coming in behind them. And what are we dealing with there? Falksman Heavy Infantry. Vistani Heavy Infantry. See, I knew they were going to push forward. I knew they were going to push forward. Come on, one more. One more. Don't hit us. Don't you dare. Of course you hit us. Of course you hit us. You guys need to go back. In three, two, one. No, the Falksmen have gone down into formation. We've stopped there. Bastani. We're losing a lot. I don't, I, I don't know when to call it. I don't know when to call it. Don't you dare hit us. Oh, straight into the back of their troops. Perfect. That's what we want. Right, they're coming. They're coming. They're coming. Run. Run. Right now. What we're going to do is bring these units up here into a bit of a another double chevron. I'm a genius. You guys can go there. You guys can go there, and we're going to envelope their entire army. Actually, no, you guys are actually running into us anyway, aren't you? Come on, that's it. That's it. You guys, all onto the general. All onto the general. They've broken. They've broken. There you go. We could push them troops around now, but I think they're going to break anyway, regardless. Actually, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? You guys have all broken. Pretty sure you've all broken. Yep, yeah, there you go. You guys come round. You guys go straight into them. You guys straight into them. Actually, no, you guys come. Sh actually, yeah, straight into them. Perfect. Then you guys come round this way. Uh, you guys kill them just while they're running. You guys straight into the side of these. Straight into them. Come on. All of you guys, besides you and you, onto them. What are you guys shooting at? How have you managed to. No, don't release the dogs. Don't release the dogs. I've just released the dogs by accident. God damn it. Right. Everyone's used their peeler. You need to go into them. Come on. Come on. What is taking so long? Right. You guys go and get them. Go and get them. Perfect. They've broken. Hey, nice try with the onagers. Sucker. Oh, the archers. Go into them. Go into them, please. Go and sort those Bastani out before they go and destroy our archers. Perfect. You've broken. All of you guys. Onto them. Onto them. Kill that guy. The enemy general oh, that's annoying. Press forward so the spirit of his army that is, is annoying. Too. That is annoying. Oh, well. But once these have been destroyed, we're going to rotate back. You guys come back. We'll make another formation and we'll sort them out. Just let these Bastani die. Pretty sure they're going to die. Wavering. Three, 
two, one. Broken. Perfect. So there we go. You can stay there. The general's there. What's the general doing? Oh, that's a lot of troops. That is a lot of troops. We can get the onagers next, I think. Come on. Come on. Go for the bait. He's going to die. He's got to die in the next volley. That honor just gone straight over us. Please, please, please. No, it does. And he's dead. Gods be First one, one of two. Go for the honor just now. Is killed. Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts. Go for the honor just now. We're going to bring these flanks in slightly. Just like that, so the cavalry that they've got don't go around us. I'm going to bring these flanks in, depending on what those cavalry do there. Do you know what, actually? I'm going to bring this side in just behind these guys. I'm going to bring them in just behind them, just so that flank is properly secured. And then what we can do is use them as reserves if we need to. All of you run. You guys are going on to the general now, I do believe. Get some of those hit points off. Potentially kill him, but also potentially drag him forward and bait him in. Look at that. We have the height advantage. Absolutely. Look at that. They can't even see the troops. Thinking, where are these archers coming from? What's going on? Uh, there's three units left. No, there's one unit left. It's just the general himself. And I'm very surprised he's not... There we go. There, Dad. Now, Falksman, archers... Wait, wait. Peltast archers. There's loads hearts. of cavalry on this side, and there's some cavalry on this side. Now, what Peltast... I want to get the heavy infantry slash light infantry first. I'm not bothered about the archers as such. I am slightly concerned with the cavalry, so I might go for them soon as well. Especially the heavy cavalry. Light cavalry, not so much. Are these light cavalry or heavy cavalry? They look like light cavalry. Yeah, they are like cavalry. Okay. Not too concerned about them. But these frontline troops here, the Bastani, the Falksman. Oh, it's just Falksman. Okay, we'll just go for the Falksman. Now, we've nearly run out of missiles. So what we're going to do is slowly start advancing down because we need to deal with these guys. And they're not coming towards us even though they attacked us. So we're going to slowly advance everyone down. Besides our general, we're going to get those archers down there. You guys go for... Those Falksmen there, you guys need to go for the Greek Cavalry over there. Hopefully, are you guys walking because you've got no tree, uh, no arrows, you are indeed. You can come back. You can also come back as well. I know you've got some advanced blacksmith upgrades on your melee weapons. However, I think for now, we're just going to keep you back because we don't necessarily need you. The guys coming behind them. Are they dogs? The dogs have come back in. The dogs want to have another go. Wow, they must be exhausted. It says they're fresh. Wait, hang on. They're actually doing significant damage. Actually, no, they're not. We've got a couple of kills here. Two or three kills. But after all, it was never going to be enough, unfortunately. Now, you guys can go for... Let's go for these Peltasts. Everyone's charging. Everyone's charging. Come on. They've just all broke. They immediately just all broke. Wow. They've all just broke. Hang on. These Falksmen are going for somebody else. What are you guys going for? Okay, sure. You're going for the archers. Interested. Archers? No, they're dogs. You can go for them as well. Why not? The rest of you should be fairly fine. And they've all the broken. Show their true they've all broken. They are not wow. Only frightened rats We're not going to be able to chase them down because we've no cavalry. But I think we should, we'll just end the battle there. Rome that is a very, generals, very clear victory. Wow. Victory. Now, I'm calling it. I am calling it. Now, there isn't any... Actually, no, we've got enough commanders. Now, usually when your family's running low on commanders and generals... They promote commanders in battles that have no general into generals if they do well enough. So Captain Nero may actually become General Nero, but we'll find out. Victory! No. No, clearly we've got too many generals as it is. Now, we are going to have to retrain them. We didn't take the cavalry, did we? Got two units of cavalry coming up. Slowly but surely. 
Now, how far is it going to take? Okay, so one turn. Why is it so hard to navigate this bit here? Strange. Very strange indeed. I would have thought it would have... Yes, anyway. Oh, there's a lot of... There's a lot of units and tireless that we could probably use as well on the front line. Let's just stick loads of peasants in there. Principes, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to go bye-bye. Top lights. All of this we could probably take, couldn't we? And the cavalry there as well. Let's stick the cavalry in with you guys. Top lights and spearmen. What are we looking... Guys, Tyler's hello. Tyler's is sufficiently happy enough. Okay, we'll leave them two in there for now. The rest of you guys can go straight up there. Perfect. Okay. Advanced faction, Skippy Eye. Oh, Skippy Eye have indeed taken Thebs. Thebs, Thebes. And they are pushing on towards Jerusalem. Wow. Is Alexandria next to fall? I mean, it is under attack. You do have a lot of units there, but not quantity wise. It looks as though they've already had a battle and lost. Ooh. The Egyptians are falling faster to the Skippy Eye than what I was anticipating. We need to attack the Roman factions before Egypt's fall any further. Because they are providing a very decent buffer for us. And we could potentially ally with them and go and attack Scipii and the Brutii. Primarily the Brutii to start off with, but then the Scipii. But we can yeah, we can cross that bridge when we get to it, I guess. They are moving over here. We've got a lot of money. Faction announcements, any... Ooh, okay. Lentulus Menaeus, where have you ended up? Wow. T-total. Careful with money. Trust it and command talent. Oh. Plus one management. This guy is going to replace this guy. Maneus Maneus. Manius Maneus. Very, very imaginative with their names, aren't they? His mum and dad must have been very imaginative. Now, reverse. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. Not a good guy. Not a good guy. But his son seems to be okay. Now, where's Decius? Wow. Oh, he's hooting. He's insane as well. Decius Sextus is also insane. Sober calm. Gatekeeper. Financially irregular. So we can't stick him in at 20 decrease cost, minus one law. Hooting. Filthy minded. Gorman. 10% obsessional trainer. Okay. Okay. Numerius Vespanius, he's gone. Now, is there anyone over there? There isn't. Now, we could probably stick you over there. No more moves, sir. Potentially. Now, Ale Alicia, you've got your... Yeah, you've got your attackers in there, haven't you? Oh, this guy seems really good, though. Oh, we've got too many generals now to go and attack. It seems a waste. It seems a waste... We're going to get one decent general, unless we use him to clean up other rebels and stuff. Because I'm seeing some rebel armies here that we could potentially just kind of clean up and get a bit of experience for him. But we need him to go against big armies, don't we? That seems a shame. That does seem a shame. Once we get another army cleared up down here, trained up, we're going to possibly go for the Romans, I think. I think we're going to have to. I think we're going to have to. We've got too many decent generals just lying around not doing anything. Unfortunately, if we want this army to get enough experience and for Tur Tiberius to become a very, very superior commander, he needs to be able to take over all of this. So let's think about what happened to Tertius. He managed to take over the entirety of Spain and became a Tertius the Great. We need the same fate for Tiberius as the faction heir as well. Now, speaking of, we have enough siege equipment to go and attack this settlement. The Britons are trying to reinforce as best they can, but it's not going to help them whatsoever. Undinium is also about to fall. Their capital. Their capital has just been taken. Well, it's going to be taken. What's dealing up here? One unit there. Pretty sure there's one faction leader. The faction leader sits up in Ibericum and doesn't do anything to help his fellow compatriots down in Londinium. Wow. Wow. Message from Senate. Leave... Your flagrant disregard for Senate policy is disturbing and dangerous. Rome relies on the great families to support its policies. Each, if each family makes their own foreign policy, there will be chaos. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, guys. We're planning on it. We are planning on it. Well, there we have it. All of the Roman factions are now at war with Britain. Even though it's not going to make a difference because they have no boundaries with them whatsoever. 
which is why it's important the only other faction we have that can help us in the fight against the other Roma factions is Egypt at this point. And I think they still need help, so we need to clear up Britain as fast as possible. Now then, without further ado, let's get into this. What are we dealing with here? Chosen Swordsman and Swordsman. This is going to be a blatant, blatant walk in the park. But, careful with money. Yeah, it should be a decent amount of experience for, Tur uh, for Tiberius and his fellow troops. Their faces may be painted blue, but their red guts spill as easily as those of other men. Wow. Well then, take those words and use them well. This should be a fairly straightforward battle. The now, enemy have brought up more men. where are the reinforcements? All the way over here. All the way over here. Do you know what? We'll be kind. We'll let them actually get their reinforcements off. For now... We're not going to go and chase them down. What we're going to do is bring these guys over here and just start shooting down these units. Have reached the gates with a battering ram. Yeah. Now, we are slowly picking these guys off. There's two chosen swordsmen here, and they're not doing well, to be honest. Yeah, they've taken a lot of casualties, but what can they do, really? What can they do? We've brought two rams up. We're going to do one on either side of the gatehouse and then one for the gatehouse. And hopefully, we don't need to bring too many troops in to actually deal with these guys once and for all. Our soldiers are First ram down. Our soldiers are at the walls. Now, now, are you guys going to throw your peeler? You are. Go on. Whoa, straight in there. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They just took a beat and they must be wavering, surely. Oh, my God. There's 13 of you left. Come on. Get another peeler off. And, well, I think you guys need to go and fight them. Actually, no, you know what? No. Actually, yeah, yeah, screw it. We've got these uh, urban cohorts. Let's actually use them. What we're going to do instead is all of their units have come down. We're going to try and open these side walls up, and then we're going to feed those cohorts in first. But we'll speed this side in first. We'll go through into them, into the Chosen Swordsman, finish them, push forward, finish these, feed these ones in through the gatehouse, and then once we've finished off what we can around here, feed them straight in there. The gods have smiled on us Whilst today. the archers go the for both of the commanding broken. units over here, keeping them at bay. Forward. There we go, perfect. This sounds like a decent plan. Let's do it. All right, and as soon as we got inside, that unit just broke immediately. Wow. That is the effect these guys have on troops. Urban cohorts. Urban cohorts. Oh, and they've just run straight into the other guys' peeler. Great gods. Wow. Our soldiers have done well this day. The walls are taken. Yeah, I mean, it's not looking good for them, is it? <laughs> it's not looking good for them at all. Right, okay. Archers, you can jump inside now. Where should we stick you guys, actually? Put you guys there. Stick you guys... Oh, we can just stick you guys in there. And what we'll do is we'll put you on fire at will. Tiberius, you can come inside. Such a strong name, that isn't it? Tiberius. What cohorts do we have in here? Is it these first... Okay, it's them. Okay. Guys can come this way. There we go. Only one of you have used up all of your peeler, which is fine. The other two still have some peeler left, which is perfect. Now, what's on the garrison? There's always troops on the garrison. Are these going to be the chosen swordsmen as well? Yeah. Of course they are. Well, that's it. That's all that's left. What we can see on screen right now, them two units here, these ones that are running away. Oh, the actual one guy left is the commander as well. Of course it is. So everything is just waiting on the rally point, on the town centre point. The rest of these guys... Actually, hang on. Let's bring these guys here. There we go. Perfect. You guys can go behind them. And then the other guys can go behind them. We're not bringing the cavalry in. We're not bringing anything else in. This is all we'll need. We've still got loads and loads of missiles left on the archers. So, as soon as they get in range, which it looks as though they have. Uh, you guys... Hang on. What are you guys doing? Bloody hell. I hate archers. You guys need to go here. We're trying to pick off these guys. Now, can you fire onto them? Without giving any casualties onto the other guys over there. 
I think you can actually. I think you guys can go there, can't you? Yeah. You go there, perfect, and then you guys... You guys can probably reach a lot of them here, can't you? Which is exactly what you're doing now. Can we possibly put you here? We can, there we go. Nice. And then you guys can just pick off those guys, perfect. Is everyone running? Everyone is running. Urban Cohort is there. Oh, they're gonna run into them. They're gonna run into them. No, they're not. No, they've not. They've decided against it. What is this? Swordsman. That's the general unit as well. Let's wait for everyone to actually get into position first. Oh, they're coming in. They're coming in. Please run. Please run as fast as you can. Please run. Please run. Please run. Oh. Oh. Yeah, they've charged straight in. We're going to take a couple of casualties, but that's fine. And... They've broken. They've broken. Simple as that. And run back. Run back. Run back there. There you go. Turn on fire at will. You guys have just gained some experience. That is what we want. That is what we want. You guys are going to be firing straight into them. Come on. Oh, they're just going to die. They're just going to die. Such a shame, but you know, it is what it is. There we go. They've broken immediately. Yeah, you can go and chase them down. You can go and chase them down. You can kill him. That's it. Come on. We've lost one. Oh, we've lost two casualties here and then one in this unit as well. Can you finally kill him? He's right there. He's right there. Boom. Boom. Come back. Come back. Come back. Don't get caught in too much fun. We don't want another Tertius now, do we? We do not want another Tertius now. You guys move forward slightly. And then you guys can just take them out. Look at them all cheering. Yeah. Morale is high amongst the elite legion. And all we've got left is a very small and puny chosen swordsman. We've got two units here, actually. I'm very curious to know how many is in each. Well, it's very hard to tell when your units are completely and absolutely obliterating them, but there's two units there, and there's 30 there. Let's just see how many we can take out before they run into our cohorts. I'm fairly certain it's not going to be that many. And they've broken. <laughs> they've broken. The enemy show their true virtue. Yep. They are not soldiers. Although, there's a general... Oh, running from there's one general men. here who hasn't broken. I reckon once we've killed these guys, we get to, uh, Tiberius to charge straight into him. We get Tiberius to charge straight into him. Come on. Onto them, and then onto them. Come on. Come on, straight in his face. Straight in his face. There we go, he's dead. Now, onto this guy. Onto this guy. Come on. You're moving forward. It looks as though you're moving forward. Oh, come on. He can't dodge that, can he? Now. Tiberius. Do us the favour and destroy the last commander. He's nervous. He can't see what's coming ahead. All he can see is this massive rock in front of him. Here he can see it. He can see it now. Tiberius, give your troops a massive roar. Get back in position. And slam straight into him. He's not doing much. How he's managed to last this long, I do not know. And there he goes. How many troops did we lose there? Zero percent, apparently. Zero percent. Unless we lost some troops there and gained them back as casualties. Let's have a look. Six. Troops remaining. Yeah, let's have a look. So, casualty healed. Oh, we've managed to heal one of our archers, because we lost a couple there as well. Which is fine, but... Yeah. First Britain settlement down and in Roman hands. And we're going to exterminate the population, because... I feel like we have to. This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. Get rid of those filthy scum out of our settlements. We're going to repair these. We're going to build a stone wall immediately. And then the roads. We will reduce the tax income for now just to keep them happy so they don't riot. We'll do the stone walls. Your honor. And then we'll do the roads. And then we'll do the sewers. Now... 
I think we push up to this city over here. Oh, wow. That settlement is completely full of warbands. Which shouldn't be much of an issue. Warbands do not have much morale. Let's push up over here. Watchtower there. Okay, we could probably get a couple of watchtowers around our settlement now, couldn't we? Our new settlement using Tiberius. Resistance is futile. Perfect. Yep. And then... We can't do anything with this guy yet, can we? It's next turn. Yep, it is next turn. Okay. What's going on over this side? Have we managed to retrain any of these? We've not. We have not just yet. We're going to get a few peasants in this settlement. And then we're going to push on. Can we get any peasants in these settlements? We can, but it's still a small... Oh, no, it's not a small settlement. I beg your pardon. It's not a small settlement. We're going to get some peasants over there and feed it over into Mogontiacum. And then push on forward. Now, let's see what the... Oh, someone's blocking our port. Oh, there we go. That's the relief force coming down towards us. Oh, and there's another one there. Oh, God. And that Britain. Oh, that one's coming towards us. Violentilla. Oh, do you know what? This guy seems good enough and he's 37. He can jump in wherever he is. Eretium, for God's sake. What was that? If you don't do it, your secret will be exposed. Blockade port Iberacum. If you don't, your secret will be exposed. I'm a little bit nervous now. What is our secret? What is our secret? Interesting. If you guys know what our secret is, please let us know because I do not know. Tiberius has just married. Perfect. Perfect. Let's get some more Tiberius sons. As many as we possibly can. Now, there's a lot of armies over here. Wow, I didn't expect this, to be honest. I did not expect this response. What are we dealing with? Just warband. Warband and mercenaries. Ah, uh, okay. I think... Trade increase? Perfect. I think they've realized the threats that we pose and have tried recruiting everything and anything in their path. Yes, master. Absolutely everything and anything in their path. Now, which way do we think they are going to come from? It looks as though they're going around this way and they're probably going to cross over this bridge. So for the time being, whilst we're retraining peasants over here and get a bit of a garrison in this settlement, we're going to defend possibly these bridges. Now, can we get tower hit? We can't. There we go. You can jump back in there. Perfect. We can't. There's not much getting one here because we've got a spy over here, haven't we? You can just stay there for the time being. Oh, you're going to go for Condate with Donum, aren't you? Why do you have to go and do that, I wonder? In that case, our relief party with this guy. Here we go. We found a use for this guy. What are we dealing with there? Just Warband. It's just Warband. Anything else in here that we can take? No. Let's get a couple of... Um, a couple of cavalry units as well in this settlement. And you guys can go and sort out those. We could probably take some of a breather with this unit. There's only one there. And these guys seem to be really struggling, don't they? But more importantly, let's take Londinium. What are we dealing with? Oh, this is... Guys, this is going to be such an easy campaign. This is going to be such an easy... It's going to be take like... It's going to be like taking candy from a baby. It really is. But... Nevertheless, we are going to leave it there. Thank you all for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one.